as part of this channel's participation in the celebration of 500 years of Magellan's arrival in the Philippines and the first circumnavigation of the globe, we will present different videos that will feature different genealogies related to the arrival and eventual conquest of the Philippines. For today's episode, let us take a look at the interrelationships among various Basque families in the Philippines. As we remember, the Basques were important in the conquest and eventual running of the Spanish colonial government in the islands. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Filipino Genealogy Channel. The homeland of the Basques lies between France and Spain, but studies have shown that the Basques, as a people, are unique in their culture and language. They are a fiercely regionalistic and independent-minded people, and they are home to many famous people in history and could count among its beloved sons and daughters Juan Sebastián Elcano, who is known as the first to circumnavigate the globe, Saint Ignatius de Loyola, founder of the Society of Jesus Congregation, Santa Candida Maria de Jesús, founder of the Congregation of the Hijas de Jesús, and Miguel López de Legazpi, the conquistador who colonized the Philippine Islands on behalf of his king. The Basques were notable in the conquest of the Philippines. For centuries, this small group of people have made their mark in the growth of the Philippines as a nation. While Filipinos today lump them together with the rest of Spain, they maintain a distinct and separate identity as a people. In fact, as already mentioned earlier, the conquistador who finally subjugated Las Islas Filipinas was not just a Spaniard, but a Basque from Zumaraga, Spain, in the name of Miguel López de Legazpi. Miguel López de Legazpi was able to get the local rulers to cooperate and surrender rather than fight the invaders. For his service, he was granted the title Adelantado Mayor Perpetuo de las Islas Filipinas by the Spanish monarch. The Basques, as a group of people, were extremely influential throughout the establishment and running of the Philippines. They were not just the conquistadors, but also the shipbuilders, merchants, businessmen, evangelizers, and their ethnic cohesion and work-oriented culture made them successful as explorers, administrators of the colony, missionaries, merchants, and settlers. They continued to play prominent roles in the governance and economy of the archipelago even until today, and their descendants contribute in significant ways to the culture and economy of contemporary Philippines. So for today, we will look at these descendants of the early Basque clans and discover their interconnection and see 
how closely and tightly related these families are, making them a formidable economic and social force in the Philippines today. Please take note that these family trees are partial and show only the members that allow us to connect with other Basque families. Let us begin with the Inchaustis. If the last name is not very familiar to most, it is because they are an old clan whose companies were sold to other Basque families in the past. They are the family though who gave us eco paints and eco floor wax, as well as the still popular Tanduay and Rizal cement. The originator of the Inchausti E. Compania was a Basque trader by the name of Don Jose Antonio de Inchausti, who, together with his son, Jose Joaquin de Inchausti, established their presence in Manila. One of the great grandchildren of Jose Joaquin de Inchausti was Joe McMicking, who married. Mercedita or Mercedes Zobel de Ayala y Rojas. Thus an alliance with what is undoubtedly the most successful and prestigious Basque clan in the Philippines today. The Zobel de Ayala family started with the marriage of Trinidad de Ayala and Jacobo Zobel Zangronis, As seen in the family tree, Trinidad de Ayala was a daughter of Antonio de Ayala, a migrant to the Basque town of Alava, Spain. Antonio and his descendants established the famed Zobel de Ayala fortune, which was collectively worth 6.13 billion dollars as of 2017. The Ayala's own, among other businesses, Ayala Land, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Globe Telecom, and Manila Water. Now the Ayala's have intermarried into other Basque families, prominent among which is the Elizalde family. Sofia Zobel de Ayala married Francisco Jose R. Elizalde Jr. The Elizaldes are another Basque family from Navarre in Spain. The family started with Joaquin Marcelino Elizalde y Irisari. The Elizaldes have also married into another Basque family the Aboites family, such as the marriage of Carlos Antonio R. Elizalde to Melissa Aboites. The Aboites have also married into the Ayalas as well, like the marriage of Daniel Aboites to Mariana Zobel de Ayala and Margarita Aboites to Jaime Alfonso Zobel de Ayala. The Aboites family, meanwhile, was founded by Paulino Aboites in the late 1800s. The company started as an abaca trading and general merchandise business. Today, the Aboitises own several businesses including Aboites Power Corporation, which owns Davao Light and Visayan Electric Company, Union Bank of the Philippines, among others. The family's assets are valued at 588.4 billion pesos as of 2020. One member of the Aboites clan married the granddaughter of President Sergio Osmeña. 
This was the marriage between Annabel R. Osmania to Luis M. Aboites. Another member of the family would marry into the Araneta family. And this was the marriage between Sabine M. Aboites to Beatriz Bettina Araneta. Now the Aranetas are perhaps the most connected Basque family in the Philippines. They are what genealogists call a gateway family. Many interesting family connections with other prominent clans in the Philippines can be traced to the Aranetas. The Aranetas are the only family in the country today whose members have married into the Macapagal, Rojas, and Marcus presidential families. One interesting connection of the Aranetas is with the Azaula family. which connects them to Governor Jose Uyanguren, who is the Basque founder of what is now Davao City and Davao Province. Of course, there are probably more intermarriages among these families and many more other families of Basque descent that are not included here. However, in just these famous clans, we have already seen at least eight intermarriages. The Basques clearly are an interesting subgroup in the Philippines. Though they are just a few of them, they are collectively very influential and worth billions of pesos. Truly, just like other family trees, the Basques of the Philippines belong to one big family tree. So that's it for our episode for today. We hope that you enjoyed and learned something from it. Please stay tuned for more episodes in the next few weeks. And you can also check the Filipino Genealogy channel for more episodes on Filipino genealogy. We thank you for watching and please stay safe always. Goodbye.